hello everybody and welcome back to the next video this time we're gonna talk about the best support hero in the current patch in my opinion and that is grimstroke like grimstroke currently kind of decent win rate in pups but if we are just looking at the win rate at the ti the win rate is insanely good the group stage and like the players was like kind of 50 50 but like the last weekend the win rate of the hero was insanely good i think he got played like 10 times with like a 70 percent or even 80 percent win rate and the reason because of that is basically his spells are so strong and his laning is in a very good state. Like when I think about a support hero, I want a hero that can like outpush lanes, deal a lot of damage, team fight early on, and farm. And Grimstroke literally has all of that. You can outpush lanes with your Q, you have a decent laning with your Q and with your E as well, and you can actually make kills early on with any hero that like jumps in or like kills somebody with you. And you can actually abuse this every single game. I've done that so many times as a Grimstroke and it feels so strong whenever you do it. And the biggest point of this hero, like why he's actually OP in my opinion, is basically the shard. The shard gives you a hard dispel, like you can dispel any stun whenever you want to. Just literally click your E on your carry or whatever hero. And if you just click your E again, you can just deal damage, you can stun the enemies and you dispel your teammates. And the dispel is actually a strong dispel. That basically means if your carry is getting RP'd and you click your E with your shard, you release it, you're actually unstunning your carry. And it's actually a very, very big benefit. And overall, the item build I would actually recommend you is like Adelands, into like Blink Dagger, into Forest Staff, Glimmer, like any item that lets you either cast your spells or you're gonna survive in a team fight and you get like one more E out. Like the E spell, Inkswell, is just so strong that you need to abuse it. The more you cast it on yourself or on somebody else, the easier the team fight is. The cooldown is very low, especially with the level 10 talent, and the duration is just insane. It's five seconds and you can decide by yourself when you want to release it with the skill build in my opinion you should definitely go for like a one one free build early on and later on you can decide if you want to team fight more you can max your silence and if you want to farm more you can max your q and all push waves easily because this hero can do it whenever you have like this feeling that your teammates are actually fk you can literally just decide yourself to go middle or like any lane sit there a little bit spam your q farm and whenever somebody of your teammates are coming to you you can actually kill anything with one e one silence one q any hero dies in the combination with another hero. So definitely abuse these things and like think about it. Never like go fully AFK with this hero. Like always like be open to do something. Especially if your teammates are coming close to you or they want to fight. Try to be in a good position and fight with them together. As you can see in the replay right there. I'm literally sitting behind my cores any single time. Like every second I have the possibility, I'm sitting behind the core. Just because I know we kill any hero. Even the lifestealer here. He literally dies because Inkswell, stun, silence, stun. And he's just dead. It was pretty close, but like this hero has so much damage in combination with any other hero. Unbelievable. Like you deal so much damage. And you can actually abuse this in pub especially. Because people are not thinking about their position. A lot of the times they are just farming in the wave and you can easily kill them and like take a tower out of it. Or even take a team fight. If you lead with this hero, like let's say you're stomping the lanes a little bit, this hero is a beast. Whenever you get like a lead early on, this hero is the greatest hero on earth. Because with your E, with your silence, you can just like run at people easily. One big benefit as well you get as a Grimstroke, you can outpush waves with your Q pretty easy. If you're just watching myself right now, I'm killing almost all the spiders with a level 1 Q. And just imagine it's like a higher level. You can outpush any wave easily. Especially against units from enemy heroes like Brood, Nature's Prophet, or whatever. You're just dealing so much damage on the wave and you can outpush it. I think the level you need actually for like a range creep kill is basically level 2 Q. I need to hit three creeps in front of in front of the range creep. So you have the possibility to actually kill it in one hit. Like if we're just watching me playing in this replay right now, I'm literally just following my carries. I'm not doing anything else. I'm not pushing waves. I'm not doing like any random stuff. Just sit behind them and be ready. One silence, one stun. Like I can release the stun myself. That's the reason why the lifesteal is almost dying here. And he's probably gonna die because he has no rage and he's gonna like be out of position. One ulti in. People are like getting stunned, getting slowed, whatever, and you just fuck them. Like you can completely destroy them. It is so much damage and it's like so good. Like the movement speed people get when you use your inkswell on them, the damage they get is insane. And I've played this hero like eight times in the last couple of days and I think I won like seven games out of it. I'm not like the biggest grim spammer or something or like having a lot of games, but here this hero is actually very simple and very easy if you get used to it once. As I mentioned before, try to buy the shard as early as you can get. Either get it from the Tormentor or buy it on minute 15 if you have the gold for it. Because like right now in this situation, I'm just telling myself like, yo, can we just bait? I want to like, I want to dis dispel him, of course. Because the enemies cannot do anything about it. 
I, I can decide myself when I want to use it, and I'm going to use it whenever the Slark is like stunned, and he can't do anything else. And that's like the biggest benefit you will get with the shard, that you can decide yourself when you want to use it and when you want to unstun your uh, only teammates. And that's like so strong, like you can cancel RP, you can cancel grip, you can cancel anything. Before the rework, it was like, yo, you need to wait three seconds, and it's spelling you, my friend. But like right now, you can literally use it for five seconds on a person, and you can dispel it whenever you want. Five seconds. It's a lot of time in order to. Another cool benefit with the shard is you can basically like heal your allies and heal yourself with it. As you can see in the clip right there, I'm just healing myself with the E, and if you sit in a creep wave and you put it on your carry, I can guarantee you most of the time he's actually full HP if he just stands in the wave and doesn't hit it. One more cool thing that nobody's like thinking about most of the time is Grimstroke is W, can get tanked by Rush. I think Rush needs like 15 to 10 hits to actually kill your silence. So you can basically perma silence to the Rush so he doesn't use the spells. Plus you tank a lot of hits by the Rush so your enemy, uh, so your carry or like mid laner is not getting low by like rushing. One more big benefit you will get as a Grimstroke if you play against heroes like Nykes or Spectre or Naga or whatever. Whenever you have the problem with them like running at you, you can like get like defensive items. Plus, especially if they have a Radiance like the Lifestealer has, you just get an Aghanims, get the Lifestealer for yourself. And the Illusion is so strong that you can literally solo kill supports with it if they can't deal with it. So you can just like use the ulti with the Aghanims of course, use the ulti on the enemies. And if you get this uh, Lifestealer in it, I'm using my Aghanims spell after that. And I'm literally having a Lifestealer Illusion that cannot be killed. Like it is so strong, especially if he has like items like Butterfly, Radiance, Heart of Taras, the Illusion is getting so tanky and strong that nobody can deal with it because the illusion is getting stronger than the lifesteal itself. One more cool thing is on Grimstroke, if you have the ulti and you use it actually, you can easily disable people while they are in BKB. So, whenever you ulti somebody or you ult like two heroes and they are stuck together and they BKB'd, they cannot get out of the ulti. So they're basically stuck there and you can lock them in with like one spell. Another cool thing I like on Grimstroke is basically your cast range on all your spells is so good. All your spells have like, I don't know, 500 to like 1k range and you can literally like use them from so far, especially if you get Adelance plus like a cast range. Uh, range item that is so strong and you can stay so far behind that nobody can ever catch you or kill you if you play against counters like spectre or whatever that's like countering you buy items to actually protect yourself like ghost scepter glimmer bling or stuff whatever so yeah i really hope i could give you some ideas with grimstroke what you should actually do what is good what is actually like the purpose of this hero i think this hero is gonna be a big big hero in the ti still but i also think this hero is gonna get nerfed after ti like very heavily and you should definitely abuse it as much as you can. Because in my opinion, they're gonna nerf the shard the most. And this is like the most crucial and biggest point why this series is actually very, very broken in my opinion. Like I'm pretty sure they're gonna nerf the shard with like, it's not gonna be a strong dispel anymore. It's gonna be like a normal dispel. So you can't dispel stuns. And then this series is actually like kind of like balanced. So yeah, and let me know what you think about Grimstroke in the comments. And let me also know what do you think is gonna happen to TI, if he's gonna get picked and if he's gonna get abused. But trust me, abuse him as long as you can. And don't miss on your free MMR, my mates. Peace.